So I am doing my first ASMR video. I bought this princess uh, castle at TJ Maxx. It was regularly $99.99 and I got it for $30. And what I'm going to do with it is I'm going to transform it into a, a fairy castle, not a princess, but a fairy castle. And I'm gonna do that using a bunch of um, items that I bought at Ben Franklin. Some greenery, some flowers, all kinds of stuff, and some fairy paper over there. So I'm going to just uh, do excerpts. I also have some over there, um, some extra things that I've pulled out of my cupboards to see if I can make that work. So I'll get started. got to take off this plastic wrap. So what I am doing is I cut these glitter papers into little squares and I'm actually placing them um, into the castle. I'll put one up here in a minute. And um, you can see it's just a wooden floor and how I've taken it and put the glitter in there to make it really pretty. And then this will pop in here and that'll make that very pretty. This is turning out to be really nice, and I can't wait to see the final product. Glue on a little paintbrush, and I'm going to lightly paint it in here. very amateur with this and I just make up my own crafts as I go along mostly with what I have even though I did make a little trip to Ben Franklin to get a few things that I was pretty sure I didn't have and I want to make sure I get the corners all nice and 
nice and smooth. Sorry, the camera's going every which way while I'm gluing. And then I'm going to pop in the paper just like that. It's a good fit. Make sure the, the edges are all done. I'm probably going to put some uh, embellishments in there, such as these little glass flowers, shiny flowers, and some real looking flowers as well. But I love this. I put this on the roof line. Until you spread your wings, you'll never know how far you'll fly. So that's just the type of embellishments to make this a fairy castle. So here I am so far. This is the back of the fairy house and you'll see I placed jewels in all different places. Remember, this is still a work in progress, but there's a drawbridge here that comes down when you turn the handle. So there's the drawbridge. And I still haven't embellished as much as I want, but I did all the fronts. And as you come around to this side, you see all the sparklies starting to take effect and the turrets and the little fairy the fairies on the building and all the little fairy sayings in there and the jewels and there's a little bunny for the fairy castle a little bunny friend and here's the stairs leave a little sparkle wherever you go magic is in your heart I believe so that's for how far I've gotten today.
So this is the finish of day two of working on the fairy castle. And I just wanted to show the progress. I'll pan out and then I'll come in very carefully. So I just finished embellishing and putting Mod Podge on all the paper and I added um, I added some real sparkly glitter into the Mod Podge, so um, that should have a nice effect. I added butterflies today, and I added some 3D wooden flowers on different sides, more jewels, of course. This is uh, the drawbridge on the thing that I had done, but I didn't have that up yesterday. So you can see the sparkly Mod Podge on the sides that I painted. And I can't open this, but I've got just oodles and oodles of little fairy bottles full of collectibles. Maybe I'll get to show you that tomorrow. This was my find at Ben Franklin. She had a little bit of a torn wing, so I talked them into giving me, giving her to me for half price. And I'm going to put her in here after it dries. So she'll be looking out. And I fixed the wing by putting some little um, X's that are real glittery that I had left over. Put them on both sides to even it out. I made these little containers and got the a paperweight in there and I've got this all Mod Podge so you can see it's a bit shiny. Everything's a lot shinier because it's more finished and maybe you can see the glitter from here, I don't know. See the glitter from the Mod Podge. And I put up more trees and some wallpaper and some wallpaper in the moat. I put up the little fairy sign and we'll go around this way and I put a fairy on the corner there and I have little Mr. Squirrel and I also made this one with a little sparkly nest. Got him. I, of course, jeweled some more. This is for Laura. And, oh, I gotta watch Podge the stairs too, eventually. Watch Podge the bridge so you can see the nice glittery clear tone that protects the paper. I put Alexa's name on the drawbridge. Got more of the 3D. Uh, I think they look like cherry blossoms to me, and I have this fairy off the draw off the bridge because of the Mod Podging, and I found this little animal and a little praying stance as I was going through some of my junk. So up in the tower praying. I think that's what a lot of people used to do in the olden days, and then I finished off this part of the drawbridge. And I put more fairies down here, more 3D, and more fairy here, and then more 3D here. So I think all in all, it's lovely. Tomorrow I will put the greenery on and the twinkle lights after everything's dried finish up a few more little elements that need to be done, but I think for the most part, it's pretty well done. I'm just waiting for some fairies to arrive in the mail to put in here, plus the big queen fairy. And there's Chloe. There she is, protecting her mama. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed. Aloha. 
Okay, I think I'm just about done with the fairy castle with the greenery and the twinkle lights. Although they don't twinkle, but they're little teeny lights. So this is how it's looking at the end. I thought I'd leave this side open a little bit so it doesn't have so much greenery. Um, just the look that the greenery is taking over the castle. So I'm just going to do a quick twirl around. I put the little fairy in there. Still waiting for the other fairies to come. Probably get here tomorrow. The squirrel's in there. Here's the drawbridge. And then here's the the greenery in the background in the back of the castle. So tell me what you think. Hope you enjoyed this. I'll take one more video when all my products come in. Thanks. Love you. Bye. So welcome to the final project. This is the final stage of the castle that I created for my granddaughter. Now, I used a lovely Melissa and Doug castle that I found at TJ Maxx for, on clearance for $30. It was a regular $100 castle and it is very nice solid wood. And if you know Melissa and Doug's products, they are meant to be durable. They're meant to be sturdy and to really be passed down from generation to generation. So what I did was I took just the regular castle that they had and I built a little fairy kingdom castle here. And I just wanna show you the final project. So this castle opens up. It's normally a square. You can see the hinges there. And it's got turrets and uh, it has a drawbridge there. And I just took it and welcome. This is where the magic happens. I just took it and made a uh, Put on jewels, bejeweled it. Put all these little magical sayings around. Always believe something wonderful is about to happen. And there we go. I put on some 3D flowers. And there's fairies down here. Once in a while, right in the middle of an ordinary life. Love gives us a fairy tale and it's all jeweled out and with jeweled flowers and jeweled floors, lots of gems. And then up here it says, just believe, magical moment with the owls. Nice little balcony. And then this is a turret and I created, a, I used a weight lift and put a sparkly paper underneath and then I'll show you the rest but that says love and I have a little bunny rabbit and in here it says leave a sparkle wherever you go and when you open it up it's the fairy storage area with all the jewels and crystals and everything fairies need to exist so lovely. All you need is faith, trust, and a little pixie dust. Dream and never lose your sense of wonder. And I incorporated just a piece of greenery. It's like a bamboo that has uh, lights on it. They don't twinkle, but I think they have a nice effect. And you can tell me what you think. 
And then I have this adorable fairy that I was able to get, and there's some littler fairies around, and I have a few more coming in the mail. This is the, if I take her out, you can see the drawbridge magic is in your heart and never stop dreaming. And another storage area that says sense of wonder. And then this flooring that I put in, I bodge podged it with sparkly. So it's a nice floor and it's, um, I made this for my eight year old granddaughter for her birthday this week. So, um, set that back in. And I have a little animal sitting in the parlor with the queen fairy and a little turtle right there, hanging out under the alcove. And then the stairs. Believe, leave a little sparkle wherever you go. Magic is in your heart. And I just want pretty things and a pair of wings and make a wish. So this is the main living area for the fairy. And the rabbit I just got on clearance, as I said before. So there's that. And then we go to the front of the castle. And there's a little bunny rabbit in there. I mean, actually, that's not a bunny rabbit, that's a squirrel. Just hiding in there, and a little bluebird on the top. And then there's a little water feature I created. The fairy that's standing on a bridge outside of the castle. And here is a drawbridge that says, once upon a time, and you notice the fairy is sitting on top pondering life. So this opens up. It has a it has a little mechanism that you do here, but sometimes you have to kind of start it yourself. And that's looking in. And then I figured the gnomes probably live outside the castle. So I've got a little gnome enclave gnome enclave right here and then there's the rest of the castle to go around a chair here I'm not a professional just trying to show you what I did with all the sparkles see all the sparkles that are here all the sparkles and the twinkle lights and it says love grandma 2019 so this will be giving to my granddaughter on her eighth birthday so let me know what you think in the comments again this is not a professional I'm just doing this on my iPhone trying to make it all happen make the magic happen as best I can Castle fit for a fairy queen. Thanks. Aloha. Okay, so I want to take you on a quick run around of the castle, which is almost finished. I have a couple more little things I'm going to do tomorrow, but this is basically what it looks like. And just put in some finishing touches. Pretty drawbridge there. Every day holds new magic. And I'll show you the little, this is that little fairy chamber that holds all the fairy jewels. this paperweight to look like a little magic circle. Pretty paper. And a little owl code that says magical moments and just believe with the owls. And the queen fairy sitting there. And the 
big living room with the stairs. Everything's been painted with Mod Podge and glitter. You can see on the floor, everything's glittery. And we have fairies on the wall. And we did this little extra water feature for my granddaughter, who was Alexa, and she'll be eight. There's a fairy sitting on the bridge, wondering about life. Just outside the castle are the dwarfs, or the gnomes, I guess you could say. We can open up the drawbridge with this. Kind of have to help it a little bit. It gets a little stuck there once upon a time. There we go. So this is the back side of the castle. I think is every bit as lovely. Now I'm putting this together in my basement. This is my mother-in-law's apartment, so I hope she doesn't mind. And then I put Love Grandma 2019. This is for my eight-year-old granddaughter, Alexa. Part of the drawbridge on this side. And then we're coming around again. And there's Chloe, the doggy cat, Chloe. Chloe. Yep, there she is. She's always with me. And then back around to the front again to get the full view. Thanks for watching my video. Mahalo and aloha. Okay, I'm most certainly done now. I did a little bit more embellishing and I found this wonderful bath mat that's very translucent. Looks very fairy-esque. <laughs> Gotta have fairy-esque. So that'll be a mat she can play on. Anyways. Oh. This is my final fairy castle going through. But I did make some changes today. I found this wonderful wonderful, um, I don't even know what to call it, some kind of sticker, but it's very, very sparkly. And it just added a little, like almost like fairy dust feel to it. So I put it around a lot of the, the signs. I put it on top of the moat, I mean, the drawbridge. So it just has that fairy feeling. I put it on the fairies skirts to give it a little more color a little more spark and joy sparkles are joy to me so i'm just taking you through the last final final i just am waiting for a few more fairies to arrive in the mail but i think other than that we're good the sparkle drawbridge and I added a few more bling on things because I I just needed it to sparkle a little more see even over here everything has to sparkle I put in some lights inside the little storage areas and just want to show you when you open this there's fairy treasures hidden in there all kinds of beads and sparkly doodahs so I've got to figure out how to do that so I can open it all the way. Let's see if it'll open now. There we go. There's all the sparkly hidden treasures of the fairies. So here we go. I think it looks quite lovely. It has just the right amount of sparkle and shine. And of course, I think that mat just adds everything to it, as I just said a little bit ago. And I put on these cute little roses. And I added a little more sparkly on the pink paper here. And I added a little container of hearts. 
glass hearts and I have a couple of a little puppy and a bird in there and of course I added a few more things to my water feature oops my duckies fell over so I'll fix them everything I had to fix to put the mat underneath and everything kind of went kibosh when I did that so we have the squirrel in the other container in there, keeping guard. I just want pretty things and a pair of fairy wings. Thank you, that's all I need. And I love the, the way the sparkly paper turned out right here. That's so pretty. Thank you, Modge Podge, make a wish. So you can see, I just added a little bit more bling to everything even on the sides here I added a little bling on the edges here and on the top of the I didn't do it on every single wall because that would take me forever maybe tomorrow I'll get more excited and do more and then of course we have our gnomes living outside the castle because they're the gardeners and they don't live Lex is going to love this, and I'm going to open the drawbridge because I, I did make these. I did add and make these little hearts with the butterflies that are movable. And I added a little more bling in there, as you can see. Put a lot of that little bling everywhere. Time I put some bling on that a little bit. Anything? So I think all in all, it turned out quite lovely. There it is. Very sparkly, very magical, and I think one of my cutest little touches here are the cute little mice on top. I think they're just so cute. They're probably watching over the castle. So there you go. There's the whole thing. I hope my granddaughter really loves this. It's really a keepsake. I'm hoping it's in the family a hundred years from now. And she'll, they'll say it's from my great, great, great grandma. And she is the most awesome grandmother or she must have been in the whole wide world was she the queen of the fairies or was she grandma we'll never know maybe both okay aloha and mahalo have a good evening i'm going to take a final quick walk through on my granddaughter's castle she's eight years old today and she'll be receiving this tonight and for those who have followed along, I've done a lot more blinging, a lot more jewels. Fairies like lots of bling, so that's what they got. Here we go. The little owl, owl alcove. Magical moment, just believe. The two little mice that are hiding out. We have lights going off in the um, little rooms. We've got the fairy jewels waiting. Okay. We've got the queen fairy with her woodland owls gathered around her. We've got more lights going on. A sense of wonder. I just want pretty things and a pair of fairy wings and all the glitters because this certainly is a glittering excitement of fairy castle land and if I had one of these when I was eight years old I would have been in heaven so there's the water feature I created outside of the castle a fairy moat as you will here is Alexa's drawbridge we gotta bring it down so you can see inside. 
and the little fairy up on top just pondering life. Bring that back up again so I forget. We have the gnomes that live outside the castle and all the woods are growing into the castle because that's where the fairy lives. They live in the woods. I'm sorry this is so shaky. I haven't had lunch. And here it says, love grandma. No one is too old for fairy tales. Little fairies hiding out, the little bunny praying in the tower. And all the butterflies and everything. So that's it. It is complete with a thousand or more jewels, probably 2,000 jewels on it. I hope you enjoy. I hope you enjoyed this process. Aloha and mahalo.